Hello everyone, this is Arun. Welcome back to the channel. This is part 3 of BA Publisher tutorial. In the last video, we learned how to create a very simple data model and a report. Today, we're going to take a look at how to edit the existing layout and adding a new layout to the same report. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Arun. I make videos on ERP Cloud, EPM, integrations and analytics. If you're interested in these topics, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, everyone, let's get started. All right, so last video, we created a data model. We created a report. And if I run the report, you will see that we have very simple tabular layout. All right, so this is the report that we created and you'll see that we have four columns the report simple layout right now let me go back to the report and here you'll see that we have one layout which we created last time you'll see that it is using the data model that we created last time okay now the first thing i want to show is how do you edit the existing layout that you have let me go back to the catalog again all right, so this is the folder where we have the report. So if you want to run the report, you basically click on open, obviously. And if you want to edit the report itself, so to add new layout um, or, or change the data model that it is um, connected to. And also, if you want to edit the existing layout, this is the option that you would choose. So let's click on edit. All right, so you'll see the layout. Let's click on edit layout option. So it's going to take you back to the layout editor. And from the last video, you, sh you should be uh, able to recollect that uh, we created this layout. We changed the um, column headers um, and also made the uh, data formatting changes to show only two decimal places. All right. What I want to do now is to add an additional data field into the layout. And you'll also notice that the layout, if I were to add a new column, it may not, um, the, the size of the page layout is small. So if I add a new layout, it might not fit correctly. So what the first thing I'm going to do is to change the layout of the page. So pretty easy to do that you'll see the page layout option. So let's click there. And now it is showing us portrait. You do have the option to increase the size, but the easier one in this case would be change it to landscape. And you'll see that the size of the layout has increased. Now I'm just gonna include one additional field and uh, let's pick invoice type, All right? And I'm going to double click on the column header and change the column header to most type. Okay. And select the column header, make it bold. All right. I'm going to click on save and done. So now essentially what we've done is we edited the existing layout, we added an additional column in there, right? Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to click on view a list. So right now we are in view thumbnails. Let's click on view a list. I want to change the default format option to PDF. And I'll cover this in a later video, how to change the output formats and stuff like that. But for the time being, I'm just going to change it back to the default format PDF. Okay, click on save. Now, if I run the report now, you'll see that uh, you are able to see that additional column that we added into the layout. Okay, so this is how you can uh, edit the existing layout, add additional columns or remove uh, columns from the existing layout. Okay, so you can see that the invoice type column is visible in the report output. Okay, so this is the first thing that I wanted to show you. Now, the second thing I wanted to show you is to how to add a new layout to the existing report. So the data model is the same, the report is the same, but we're gonna add an additional layout with different set of data fields. Okay, so let's go back to 
the edit report option. Let's click on add new layout. Okay, some of these options, um, I'll give you a high level overview here. Um, the top options, the four of the options, it's like the layout editor that we saw. It's going to guide you and take you to the layout editor. You can drag and drop the columns in there, then create your layout. Uh, the difference between the first, first one and second one is one is portrait, one is landscape. Uh, third one is portrait with header and footer. And the fourth one is landscape with header and footer. These are again basic blank template, uh, but it will allow you to use the layout editor to drag and drop columns um, and also create the layout. Um, the other two options that you see at the bottom, first one is if you have an RTF template or e-text template that you've created on your local system and if you want to use that as the layout, uh, you can upload that. And the second option there is you do have the option to generate a basic RTF layout. So the system is going to generate that for you. You can then download that, customize it uh, to your requirements, and then upload it back into the system. So it's a starting point for you to uh, create your RTF layout. All right, so I'm going to select blank landscape for now. And it's going to take me to the layout editor. Okay, first thing I want to do is to include um, a data table and you'll see that it has two options and by default the second option or, or the option where you see that the last row is highlighted that basically means it's going to include a total row at the end of the table uh, I'm okay with that but you know if you don't want that you can select the other option which is without the totals row Okay, so I'm just going to keep the um, keep the option of uh, having the totals row. Now, I'm going to just uh, drag and drop invoice number, uh, invoice date. This time, I'm just going to focus on payment related aspects. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the size of these columns, and let's include uh, invoice amount. Uh, total tax amount, amount paid. I'm going to include payment method as well. So before the invoice amount, I'll include the payment method. All right. I think I'm good with that. Uh, the next thing I want to do is to format the data. So essentially we have added a new layout and we've selected different set of data fields in this layout. The first layout had, didn't have the tax amount, amount paid and payment method and stuff like that. So we have added a new layout with those additional fields, right? Um, I'm just gonna give a header as well. So I'm just gonna uh, drag and drop a layout grid to the top. And I'm just gonna include three rows maybe four, so that I have enough space to display the uh, header. So I'm gonna drag and drop a text item here. Just call it um, Give your um, report a title or name to make it bold. 
and uh, you can even change the colors. And maybe increase the font size a little bit. Okay, all right, and maybe change the font. Okay, I think I'm good with that. So click on save. Now it's gonna ask, when you click on save, it's gonna ask you to name the layout. So I'm just gonna call this payment details. Click on save and click on done. Now um, to view the report output itself uh, for testing purposes, what you can do is you can click on this um, drop down here and select one of the output formats. So in this case, I'm going to just select PDF. So it creates, it opens a new tab and it runs the report um, so that you can see how the report is looking or the report output is looking. All right. So you can see uh, the additional columns that we have included or the new columns that we have included is visible on the report. Okay. So, and even the um, header uh, report header is visible as well. Okay. All right. So now let's click on done. And when I click on done, it takes me back to the report and you'll see that two different layouts are visible now. AP invoice report is the first one that we created and payment details. That's the second one we created just now. Now, um, if I click on view a list, you will see that one of them is, um, marked as default. So in this case, AP invoice report, the first layout that we created is marked as the default layout. I can change that. And also you can change which one is active and which one is not active. Okay. Um, and I'll show you the difference here. So if I click on view report, let me just save this and click on view report. You'd see that uh, at the top, you'll see two tabs and it takes you first to the AP invoices report layout for the report because that is tagged as the default uh, layout. So and if, if I go back and change that, so click on view a list and let's change this, save view report and you'll see that it takes me to the second tab here because now we have marked that as the default layout okay so that's how you can control which layout is shown when you run the report all right um and you might be thinking why the report is not running when i you know click on view report that's because if i go into properties this uh, option called auto run I have unchecked that and that's why it is not running by default. Uh, if I just check the auto run, click on OK. And so it is already saved. So now if I view the report, you'll see that you'll get a message saying that it is loading. So that means the report is running. Um, so I can uh, go back, edit report, leave. And let me go back to properties, uncheck this, click OK. And you'll notice that if I run view report now, nothing's happening here, right? It's not running the report, it's not executing the report. But if I click on the refresh button, now you'll see that it, it starts executing the report. All right, so just for testing purposes, I try tend to uncheck the auto run option, um, but yeah, it's up to you. You can do it either ways. Um, so anyways, so that's how you can control some of the uh, report properties. Okay. So I'm going to stop here for this one. The next video, we're going to take a look at adding one more layout. I'm going to show you how to create um, a group, a repeating group, and also um, a graph 
to be included in the report. And you'll be surprised by how easy it is to include graphs and charts um, into the BI Publisher report output. I hope uh, you found this helpful. If you find this helpful, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Uh, please share it with your colleagues and friends. And uh, follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, I do write articles on Medium, so you can follow me there as well. And uh, if you have any uh, thoughts, comments, put those in the comment section. Uh, I usually respond to most of the comments. Um, so I, um, I welcome all of your comments. And uh, I hope you all have a good weekend. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.